Jane Sue with the Teachers Upstairs, and today we're going to be talking about brain dumps and how to use them as a test prep strategy. When it comes to a test prep, the best secret weapon we've got is the brain dump. It is standards based, it has high engagement, huge returns, it's individualized, and it really only takes five to 10 minutes a day. What is a brain dump? It's a test prep strategy. It stores information somewhere other than your brain. As teachers, we are constantly putting information into our students' brain, but when it comes to the end of the year testing, we need to get that information out. So a brain dump also frees up the brain power to allow students to process information instead of remember information. Let me say that again. It frees up the brain power to allow students to process information instead of remember the information. And that, my friend, is the golden ticket when it comes to a test. Why use the brain dump? There are so many advantages, but a few of them are, if a student is walking into a test and they know they can reproduce a brain dump in less than 15 minutes, that, my friend, builds confidence. It reduces a student's stress. It helps them to organize their learning it is very individual and it's in a personal approach to learning, which we'll show you in a minute. And again, it frees up their brain power to think instead of remember. The first step is to design a brain dump. When you are designing your brain dump, you're gonna wanna be standards based. And we use the NGSS or the Next Generation Science Standards when constructing our brain dumps. So when designing a brain dump, you're going to choose simple diagrams or formulas to represent overarching concepts. If you can see over here to the right are moon phases or seasons. These are simple diagrams that students can use to help answer a variety of questions. You wanna choose items which students can reproduce that will provide value and meaning to them on the test. So that could include formulas as well or acronyms. The second step is introducing the brain dump to your students. Show the completed version. This is an example of a brain dump that we've used in sixth grade. There are four main units of study, the solar system, energy and matter, weather, and ecosystems. So show the completed brain dump, explain the reasons why you're having the students learn the brain dump, and then you are going to model writing out the brain dump using your teacher talk. Why are you using these specific models or formulas or acronyms on the brain dump and how can that benefit the student? Then you're going to pass out the graphic organizer to the students and students will begin reproducing the first quadrant. Once they understand that first quadrant, then you can move on to the second, third, fourth, or if you have more units of study, you can add more as you need. Research has shown that the very act of being quizzed helps the student to remember the material better. Quizzes are more effective when they are done in small increments over a long period of time. In addition, when feedback is included, the benefits are even greater. So why am I talking about quizzes? Because we attach a quiz with the brain dump. This helps students remember and it provides motivation for them to study. Did I say we grade the quiz? Not necessarily, but we do attach it to a quiz. The third step is incorporating the brain dump. Like I just said, if it is spread out over small increments of time and spread out, students tend to remember it better. So we sprinkle the brain dump practice into our bell work, which is about twice a week that we'll do this. And then we have a quiz on Friday. We give a time limit to the quiz. So each quadrant should take about five minutes or less to reproduce in the example we, we are showing you here. And then when, after those five minutes, students are going to take that brain dump and they're going to grade it meaning they're giving themselves feedback. They're going in with a marker and they're writing down everything that they missed in that quadrant. That right there is making it individualized and personal because now that student knows what information they have down and what information they need to spend their time studying and remembering, reviewing, so that they can reproduce that quadrant in the specified amount of time. Having students grade their own brain dump turns this strategy into an individual and personal learning experience. Students now know where to focus their study efforts, which will be different for every individual.